what does it mean when we say in the Haggadah, um, in every generation somebody wants to kill us? Excellent question, Bacha Rezel. I want to tell you a story. Your great-great-grandfather was a man by the name of Reb Hirshavigla. And he lived in Turkey, 19, in Israel in 1914, ruled then by the Turkish Empire. And hunger was ramp rampant in those days. And in order to make a living, he did anything and everything to, to, to make some money. So he was caught selling cigarettes in the black market. Turkish police caught him. They took him to a prison, which is right near the Western Wall. It's still around today. And they beat him up. They beat him so severely that if, when he was released a few hours later, he died. So my grandfather, Reb Sholem, was three years old at the time. It took only a few more months till his mother and his other brother died also of starvation. So he grew up in Jerusalem, an orphan, lonely by himself. It was so hard for him. Every year on Pesach was the hardest because he sat around the Pesach Seder and he had to ask his father the four question, Mani Shtana, why is this night different from all other nights? And he didn't have a father. But every Friday, he would go to the cemetery and he would ask, he would talk to his parents. He would tell them about his week. And despite the pain and hardships, he married, managed to have five children, many, many grandchildren, and many, many great grandchildren. And his story is the story of Am Yisrael because in every single generation we have people who stand against us and want to kill us, they want to destroy us. But like we say in the Haggadah, that what stood for us in every generation is we have God Almighty to help us, to save us from all our enemies. When we say in the Haggadah this year, we should tell our children may it be that next year will be celebrated in Jerusalem. From our family to yours, we wish you a kosha and freilach and pesach. We wish you all a kosha and freilach and pesach.